We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Hello and welcome to another video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry Studios. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here and I'm so happy to be with you today from right here in the GFM studios. It's good to be with you. Our God is good. He is gracious. He is merciful. He is slow to anger and abounding in love. He is our good God. And in life, as we face good times and bad times, He will be with us. I want to speak to you today, my dear friend, and the title of my message is Life's Hard Reality and the Winner's Mentality. You see, the two go hand in hand. There is a reality to life that shows us that life isn't all rosy throughout the whole process, throughout the whole journey. And in order to make it through some of the tough times that may come, we need to develop a winner's mentality. Now let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit. Wherever you are, lift up your hands as a sign of surrender and say this out loud. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come Lord Holy Spirit and bless me. Help me to pray. Help me to press in. Help me to receive from the Father today. I ask this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. Now we're going to take our reading from the book of Psalms chapter 90 from verse 10. It says the days of our lives are 70 years and if by reason of strength they are 80 years yet their boast is only labor and sorrow for it is soon cut off and we fly away. Now this particular scripture highlights the reality of life. It highlights that life is not always rosy. There will be times that are good. There will be times that we are happy. There will be times that we feel over the moon. There will be times that we feel like everything is going according to plan. But there will also be those times when things are not going according to our plan. And what we do in those times matters. You see, in order to make it through the hard reality of life, you need a certain mindset. You need to think in a certain way. You need to do things in a certain way. And Life can have its ups and downs, but one can live in such a way, by wisdom, that you have a good time throughout. In your good times, you are happy. In your bad times, you have exercised wisdom, so you are still happy in a way. Without an overcoming mentality, it will be hard, if not impossible, to win. The Bible shows us clearly that in this life there is labor and there is sorrow. Now, I like the fact that it has put them together. And there are many ways that one could look at this and take it. When you talk about labor and you talk about sorrow, one could talk about the daily work that they do and also the hard times that come. But also, if you look at it in a certain way, to overcome that sorrow, there is certain labor, certain effort that you have to put in. There's a certain price that you have to pay. There are certain good decisions that you need to make. There is a certain mentality that you need to have. There is a certain tenacity and boldness that you need to have to press on through and to make it. You need a winner's mentality. You see, winners don't give up and that's why they win. Winners don't give up. It is impossible to win a race if you give up the moment things become hard. Imagine running a 400 meter race and the moment you become tired after 50 meters you give up. Will you win that race? The answer is obviously not. In order to win you need to push on through all 400 meters and you need to find it within yourself to dig down deep and press on through so much so that you overtake the others. Now that is a winner's mentality. It is a mentality that we need. The Bible shows us clearly that in this life there is labor and there is sorrow. And the actions that we take in light of this can determine how good or how bad it is. There is always a way to change your life. But it starts with Jesus. As a born-again believer, the most important things in our life 
start and end with Jesus. He is the Alpha. He is the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. It starts and it ends with Jesus. Now, as you give your life to him, the next step is an honest look at what your situation is. An honest look at what is happening in your life so that you can see where you are and exactly what you're going through. And from there, it's followed by a plan that is committed to God. If you want your plans to prosper and succeed, then you need to commit them to God. If you commit your plans to God, no matter what may come up against you, those plans will work. And those plans must determine how your life will change. What is your strategy? What is your plan of action to accomplish getting into a place where things may be going the wrong way? but you still win. Another thing that we must do is read the word of God, pick up on the promises, hold on to the promises of God, speak them over your life. Use the promises of God to encourage you in times when you feel down and out so that you can maintain that winner's mentality. And in light of the hard reality of life on the journey, no matter where you are in life, always remember others because of the reality of life consider others sow good seeds into other people's lives do unto others what you would have them do unto you so if you were in a very difficult position or if you were in the position that they were in what would you have people do for you do that for them so grace so mercy so kindness so generosity, so good deeds, so that in your life you may reap the right things. Remember, the Bible shows us clearly you reap what you sow. And in doing so, you will change your life. Now let us go into a time of prayer. We're going to begin by praising and thanking God. And as we discern the presence of God, then we'll begin to pray. And I trust, I know, I believe God is going to bless you. So in saying that, let us begin. Father, thank you. Thank you for another day. It is a wonderful day to live to the fullest. Both myself and my dear friend who's watching this video can seek you. We can press in and we can trust you. We can trust you to do what only you can do. And we ask you, Father, even in our lives today, do what only you can do. Bless, touch, heal, deliver, set free, and change my dear friend's life. I give you praise and I thank you that even today, your grace is going forward right now. Your anointing, your presence, your power is going forward and beginning to touch, my dear friend. We give you praise and we thank you that you are still moving today. You are still doing miracles today. You are still doing the things that were written in the Bible because you are the same yesterday, today and forever. And what you said in the beginning, you are still saying now. Your word is a solid rock for us and we know we can hold on to it. We can stand on the solid rock and we will stand strong. We give you praise and we thank you. Thank you for Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who gave his life for us so that we may be saved. Thank you. We give you praise and we lift up your name and we thank you for another day. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. My dear friend, I discern God's presence and I know, I trust, I believe God is going to bless you. Now, as we go into a time of prayer, I want to encourage you, comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement. And even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, let us begin. Father, I stretch my hand towards this camera right now. And I pray for my dear friend. In light of life's hard reality, give my dear friend grace to make it through. Give my dear friend grace to press on through and to make it to make it against all odds, to make it in whatever season they face. Right now, download into my dear friend's spirit and mind and heart the winner's mentality so that my dear friend, your dear son, my dear friend, your dear daughter who is watching this video may run and run successfully and finish this race and be successful in all that they do. I ask this in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for my dear friend. 
if my dear friend finds themselves in a place, my dear friend, your dear son, my dear friend, your dear daughter, in a place where they need a miracle. Father, even today, let this anointing that is right here in studio go through this camera as a point of contact. We know distance and time is not a barrier for you. Let it go through this camera and begin to touch, my dear friend, and effect a divine work. Do a miracle where miracle is needed. Bring divine intervention where divine intervention is needed. Bring healing, deliverance, and a fresh touch. I ask this in Jesus' name, and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. My dear friend, our God is good. He is gracious, and He has heard our prayer. From myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, until we meet again soon, Shalom and goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.